It has everybody's hit. The runners are right in the middle, guys. Got to put a good lane into one by four. I got to have a lot there. And two. All right, guys, five minutes to warm up. Turn them loose. Down to punch the lane, please. chips on the waffles guys at the waffle house go ahead bud you can dig in there what is up guys my name is mark santa maria welcome back to the channel welcome back to the rc vlog it's actually a race vlog we are still at the 2022 southern nationals uh that was the second time we've eaten waffle house this week the boys have never eaten waffle house until this week and they love it so i can't complain so this race literally started as the worst race weekend we've ever had we broke so how many times did we break even? Uh, more than 10 times. <laughs> we broke so many times. We all broke. My car's actually broken right now, sitting in the truck. Uh, and it was it was because the track had parts where the car could break. And it was fun. It was a fun track, super fun yeah. track. The event, absolutely amazing. Uh, we're actually walking up there right now to the track so you guys can see them knock it down. But yeah, let's see if we can itemize everything we broke. So in regards to what we broke, Ethan blew a bearing that we didn't have, so I had to do the walk of shame and look for that bearing. Evan had a screw back out on a part that he actually, oh, is that the door open? Yeah, that he actually replaced not that long ago, so that broke. Um, we're about to walk in there, you're about to see the track as it's getting knocked down. Oh man, it's gone. There's elevation there, that's nice. It's the Monday after the race. The sad part where they gotta tear the whole thing down. It's actually pretty cool to watch though. So both the boys' cars are broken. I end up fixing Ethan's car. Because I'm fixing the car, I didn't really get much time to practice. Evan fixes his car, goes out there. Was it the first or second lap you snapped the arm? Second. Second lap snaps the arm. This is on practice day. So he doesn't get any laps. He goes right back to the <laughs> right back to the pits to replace the arm. He works on his car literally all freaking day. 
So while Evan is working on his e-buggy, I bust out his nitro truggy to get it running. We go bring it out to warm it up and it has major problems. For some reason I can warm it up for about 15, 20 seconds. And then as soon as it gets warmed up, the, the throttle servo stop working. Electrical issues galore. I end up switching the receiver pack, the receiver and the servo just to make sure there wasn't an actual problem with the car and make sure we could at least run it. But yeah, it was bad. So practice day, complete disaster. Evan probably got maybe three laps. I got a couple battery packs in between us working on cars. Ethan maybe got maybe a battery pack in. It was not looking good. So qual day starts. Ethan runs an amazing qual day. I gotta give big hats off to Ethan. He ran a great qual day. He didn't have any problems. He actually qualified really, really well. Evan, on the other hand, not so much. Nitro truck, we could not fit, like we were working, that was the first nitro race for Evan ever. So we're sitting there working on our, kind of our communication. Um, he forgets to come into the pits to fuel up before the actual race starts. And yeah, his car flames out at the end of the race. It was super fat. I knew it was fat and I wanted to tune it, but he didn't know to come in, didn't work. Anyways, it was a disaster. E-buggy, he goes out, TQ's round one. Freaking amazing, like we're on a high right now. So here comes round two. Round two, Evan and E-Buggy takes the lead. Probably two minutes into the race, he's on a second TQ. We're thinking we're gonna be able to put it up after Q2 and his car completely cuts out. Blew a motor. It's the only car that we run a Hobby Wing motor in. Everything else, Hobby Wing ESC is taking motors. Evan blows a motor. So that soldering motor switching extravaganza begins. And in, in Nitro Truck, we decide, actually we didn't decide, we switch fuel in nitro truck for round two. It's because I have a lot of BP fuel at home and I wanted to run it out. So we were running TNR, we switched to BP in round two, middle of a race. And of, of course it didn't go as expected. And we end up blowing a plug. I could hear it too when he was warming up and made a weird pop noise. And he ended up flaming out twice in the qual. Complete disaster. I knew right off the bat, we just need to change the plug, we should be fine. So Evan does not have a qual done in, in Nitro Truck at all. His e-buggy's broken. Ethan continued to do his thing. By this time, I'm flustered, so all my quals are really bad. I even pull off in, in, Q, in Q2 and e-buggy. I pull my car off because I just I can't focus and I'm just so flustered. Look at these guys, working hard. See, everyone goes home, these guys stay and do this just so we can have an amazing race. That's kind of a cool view right there doing wheelies on the track so in q3 evan still doesn't run a great qualifier in, in nitro truck we got the kinks worked out however i think i think you didn't tighten your wheel nut what do you think i thought i did i thought it just slipped out he didn't tighten the wheel nut came off in the practice lap so we're running out there trying to get it going again because the person who pulled it off you know killed the car because he thought he was done with the race or whatever it was, a, it was a nightmare. And E-Buggy, we got a new motor in his car, and he starts to feel the power, he gets excited. He goes for the quad. There's a section of the track that's like a, either a double-double or a triple-single, or if you have a lot of power, you can do a quad. He goes for the quad, and E-Buggy snaps his arm off. So he, he TQs round one, gets no qualifiers in round two and three, or no finishes in round two and three, so he's sitting in the B-Main. Ethan put his car in the B-Main himself, I think it went all the way to D-Main. So the fact that Ethan got B-Main, absolutely awesome. My quals were subpar. I was working on their cars all day, having a good time. So yeah, that pretty much wrapped up our qual day. Pretty much the worst qual day we've ever had. So on main day, this little guy in the B-Main, what do you, did you lead or you were in second? I was in second and I got to lead and I got taken. So he was, he was almost, he was in command of the entire race. He was sitting in second comfortably. Um, he was about to take the bump, they bumped three, and uh, he, he ends up running into some traffic, some lap traffic, and he ends up finishing six. However, the person who did take a bump spot was that guy right there. He ended up being able to put his e-buggy in the A, and in Sportsman, or in Sports, yeah, Sportsman Nitro Truck. In Nitro Truck, there were only, I think there were 18, so they ran all 18 of them in the A, so Evan was in the A. That's why we weren't too bent out of shape about him not getting qualifier in, um, because we knew if we just worked out the kinks, he'd be there at the end. The Nitro A main is 30 minutes long. 30 minutes long. 
and uh yeah it was it was a grueling 30 minutes i basically i talked to evan we had headsets on i talked to him the whole time and just let him know that a race like that a sportsman nitro trucker race you really just want to finish and not make too many mistakes and you should win and uh, evan ran a very disciplined race he did exactly what i told him he wanted to push the whole time the whole time on the radio was like dad i want to go i want to go i'm like no let them go and they'll start breaking and they'll start making mistakes and that's exactly what happened I told Evan, I said, you can, you can turn it on in the last seven minutes, um, but for the first you know, 23 minutes, just stay consistent and clean and keep your truck in one piece. So he does that, and in the last five minutes, he's sitting third? Yeah, third. He's sitting third, and then someone fell out in the last five minutes. Now he's sitting second. And then on the very last lap, guys, Evan's catching this guy. He's catching first. Like, it's the closest battle on the track. And on the very last lap, guys, the first place guy goes up the last hill to go onto the front straight, and his car flames out. Evan passes him. Evan is now the 2022 Sportsman Nitro Truggy Southern Nationals Champion. So it did end well. God, you got to look excited about that. Come on. You, you yeah, just won. It it was it was yesterday so aside from all the craziness it's starting as one of the worst race weekends for us it ended amazing he did end up taking a win in q3 and e-buggy uh, but the other two he didn't do so well so he ended up not making the podium ethan a3 yes yeah, sorry a3 because they do three a mains ethan had an amazing showing i can't wait to see what he does at the next race uh he showed a lot of discipline also and he drove the track very methodically, not crazy like he usually does. And uh, for me, I just need practice. Hey, track's closed. Track's closed, sir. Oh, there goes a squeak. <laughs> they have a contest on who can go furthest. Well, that's a wrap, guys. Overall, an amazing weekend. Wouldn't have traded him for anything. Yeah, I would have liked a little bit better quals, but the main day finish, oh my god. Seeing Evan on the podium in first place after he fell short at, at the last, I think it was Southern Indoor Championships when he fell short, and then he takes the win in his first Nitro race. Absolutely amazing. I wanna thank all you guys who support us on the channel, on the live feed. You guys are freaking awesome. Thank you so much. It means a lot to all of us, the entire family. Thanks a lot. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell, and you guys will see me next time. Later, guys.